the NBA season has come down to this. This is it for all the marbles. Game 7 of the NBA Finals. We're at Talking Stick Resort Arena in downtown Phoenix. Tonight, it's the Phoenix Suns taking on the Boston Celtics. Alongside Jay Williams, I'm Ed Cohen. Jay, you look at the Suns as they enter play. They know what's at stake. This is it. One game to decide the NBA Finals. Well, here we are. This is what you dream about. A game seven. A one-game series for the NBA championship. This has been one heck of a thrilling ride so far. I'm just so grateful to be here courtside to watch this happen in front of my own eyes. This has really been a dream come true. And Chris Paul, he's been doing that for years. Wide open look, and he buries it. It's all about creating space with the dribble. Once you have that gap, you can beat somebody in a variety of ways. He chose the dagger with the three. Ball's controlled by Boston. Knocked loose. And that'll get out of bounds. Last touch by the Suns. It'll stay Celtic basketball. Fires the three. His first effort off the mark. And a pass stolen by Boston. Tatum it down and Jay the system produces once again and in today's game you have to make shots like that nice work draining it from deep now Paul with the basketball just getting started strap in for a good one here in game seven DeAndre Ayton to Booker Calls out of bounds. Last touch by Marcus Smart. Mikhail Bridges. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Marcus Smart pins it. Just incredible timing on that slot. A pass stolen by Phoenix. It's early. Get a good quality shot here. Paul, it's good. Coach wants to see more from his D. When you look at playmakers from the last decade plus, what sets Chris Paul apart? He always puts you in a position to succeed. He leads because he's vocal, and when he directs and he guides, there is nobody better at the position than CP3. A drive down the lane, but the shot won't go down. From long range, can't connect, it's no good. That's toughness right there. Physical inside, gets it to go. It's so difficult to block a guy like that with that kind of athleticism and length. Your timing almost has to be perfect, but pretty much there's no stopping him when he's around the rim. Goes to the left side. Here comes the screen. To Booker. Paul to Booker. Lobs it up. Throws it down off the alley you pass. Ah, oh, Jay, no question. There's an unspoken bond there. Just on the same wavelength. And how about this? Sometimes a bad pass is a great pass when you have somebody as athletic as that that can catch that anywhere and slam it down. Oh, out there looking like the Kimbe Matumba. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Here comes the screen. To Jalen Brown. Whoa, Jalen Brown above the rim. I mean, defense, is it that easy? Can I see some reaction after somebody gets an easy dunk? Some yelling, some kind of emotion? I need you to get involved back in this ballgame. Chance for Chris Paul. The shot almost. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. And throws it down. How about right after the dunk? He looks right over towards the bench, gets a call from the coach about what defense they're in, and then gets his team set. Those are people that are able to lead men.
Here's Paul controlling the offense. Goes to the right side. Mikhail Bridges. Probing the defense. The drive right to the basket. Doesn't have the touch. No good. I just love where this takes you into the psychological battle as a player offensively. Was that a great contest, or did you just miss the shot? But now you have me thinking about that the entire next possession. To Mikhail Bridges. Fires the three. That's off the side of the rim. Short. For three. Tough shot there for Jalen Brown. No good. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. Here comes the screen. Tatum. He drills the three. Into the front court. It's Booker. Right now, 12 all. Slam dunk, DeAndre Ayton. Well, when you play for each other and not just for yourself, that's when great things happen. You essentially lose yourself in what the team is trying to accomplish. It's called unselfish basketball. And there's nothing more beautiful than rewarding your teammate with a nice pass and letting them finish for two or three points. Oh, big finish at the rim. An easy two. Get back on defense. A oh, pass taken away by the Celtics. Pick up that sense of urgency. Here's a chance to break the tie. Tough-looking shot there. Still gets it to go down. Bulldog. Look, it ain't always going to be pretty. But this is a results-oriented business, and this dude will always give you a good ROI. To Mikhail Bridges. Got a piece of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Lets it fly from long range. Oh, he couldn't get it to go. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. It's Phoenix ball. DeAndre Ayton. Jalen Brown sends it away. That's out. Last touch by Al Horford. New blood coming in for both sides. Count the basket. A lot of contact. No foul. Uh, I'm not sure that wasn't an offensive foul. But take it when you can get it. Nice pass to set things up. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Paul into the front court. Trailing by four. Knocked loose. Celtics have it. He throws it down. So many people think making assist is creating something razzle and dazzle. Sometimes giving the ball up early is the right play and the most efficient. into the front court now down six finishing inside the paint on that one and that may not have been a gimme but that layup at the rim definitely chips away at the pride of the defense Celtics have it oh, he sent that one to the third row he was locked in that was impressive here comes the screen Tatum he engulfed him that time. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Give him two points. High percentage. They're going to have to find answers defensively and quickly because he's carving them up in the first quarter. 
And good work defensively as the pass is taken away. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. Layup goes down. Well done. And ISO basketball is becoming a thing of the past. Team basketball is back. And if you have that personnel with the versatility plus the mindset, game over. And watch him do the rest. Slam dunk. They have set the tone in this one. I love when I see offenses come out in beast mode. You attack that paint, you get to the rim, inevitably the floor will open up for you to knock down some threes. No good and no foul. Boston with the basketball. DeAndre Ayton with the interception. Tatum. And the rebound taken down by the Suns. Celtics come away with it. Off the iron. It came out. Paul with it up top. Down eight. the shot clock for Phoenix. Here's a chance from long range. Not going. And a putback slam. Woo, that's nasty right there. Beyond the arc for three. It's Aiden with the rebound. To Paul. 4-3. Rebound Jason Tatum. Celtics have it. Here comes the screen. Nothing going here on that drive. Going to launch beyond the arc. Jay, another one goes down. They're right where they want to be. Exactly. Next play, you have to turn around defensively and get in the stance and actually keep that same kind of tempo. Now the Suns going to signal for a timeout as they'll talk things over here in the first quarter. Mixing things up. Hockey line substitutions. Both teams making changes. Had a good look there, but it's no good. Knocked loose. Celtics have it. Ah, the monster stuff. Gotta love the rim rockers. Gotta be careful, though. Don't hang on the rim too long. You might get a tee. Paul across the timeline, trailing by 11. With the fadeaway, burns him for the basket. Old school equals high percentage. Nothing going here on that drive to Jalen Brown. Took it down the lane, but it's no good. One of the best kept secrets in the game utilizing a head fake. Get the defender in the air. Crack into him. Don't give the refs any excuse not to call foul. I put that one on you. You went up a little bit lazy. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Oh, he hits the three. To Paul. A drive down the lane, but the shot won't go. Brown into the front court. Lead is 12. From 
around the painted area won't go down. What happened is he didn't balance himself off the defender. He didn't initiate contact. He allowed the contact to initiate him. We can break that down later in the broadcast, but that's why he missed that easy chipping. Justin Santiago at the buzzer. One quarter down in this decision.